Ship Graveyard Simulator is an absolute gem of a video game that was released recently on Steam, and let me tell you, this game was a game that I've been waiting for and wanting for a long time. In this game, you're going to be tearing down ships, stealing their scraps, and building up your own business empire as the game progresses. It is really a business tycoon style game with a single person, if that's the best way I can describe it. Still, it is absolutely fun. First off, I want to go over the graphics because I love the graphics of this game. The graphics in this game are both phenomenal and kind of standard, and by that I know it sounds confusing, let me just break that down for you a little bit better. The people in the game leave a lot to be desired. For a game that is as stunningly beautiful environmentally as it is, I definitely expected more out of at least the character models. I know that it isn't a huge deal because you aren't adventuring and you aren't slaying monsters and saving people and marrying people, and I get all that. But at the same time, for 2021 with the stunning graphics that the ship has itself, I expected a little bit better. But the ships themselves, oh my god. The actual items and tools that you use are beautiful. Now I'm playing this game on insane or on epic level of graphics with my 3060 and I am constantly getting about 90 to 100 frames per second. I'm getting about 60 on loading screens, but even then that isn't that bad. You're going to spend a whole lot of time just looking at things. I mean, the, uh, the actual particle effects of the game, and I do mean particle effects because when you destroy items, they kind of explode, which is really, really cool to see. But I've found no major issue with any of the visuals or anything like that. There's been no glitches, no major issues. Uh, but you guys don't want to hear about graphics for the next five minutes. You want to hear about gameplay, so let's dive right in. This game played even better than I was hoping for, and I want to really dig into that. So when I was playing this game at first, I thought, you know, I'm going to break something from a ship, and it's just going to disappear, and whatever items I need to pick up are going to be on the ground. And I thought that was going to be the case, and I'm so glad I was wrong, because when you break an object, it crumbles into pieces. Those pieces disappear, and then the items pop up where you need them to. It is absolutely amazing it is so cool the variety that there is in this game of all the objects that you can destroy with either either a hammer a saw or any of the other tools that i still have yet to unlock because i've just been breaking small ships for like hours at this point is absolutely insane that's great because you go to your computer you order a ship the ship comes the next day you take your car go to the ship and between your inventory and the ship car's inventory you can put so much away from an object that you can just make so much profit off of it. I made $3,000 on my first day because I got a medium-sized ship, spent the, like, $400 for the day, and just spent the entire day from, like, dusk till dawn, or dawn till dusk, destroying and destroying. The items that you can get are amazing. First off, you do have weapons, or items, I guess. It's not really weapons because it's not an adventure game, but you do have, like, hammers and saws, and you can upgrade not only their appearance and their skills, well, actually, they're skills, too, because the skill tree in the game is amazing. You actually get to unlock nodes as you level up in the game, which is really, really cool to see. I haven't seen yet if you can respec or not, but that's a whole different discussion for another point in time. Well, on top of that, the game has crafting. You'll get basic materials from the ship, whether it's rusted steel, copper, oil, whatever it ends up being. But the really cool thing is you actually get a workshop pretty early in game, and that workshop lets you build items and craft them in the sense of making better items. Now, I haven't actually gone too deep into the crafting yet, but by the time Monday hits, you're going to see a lot more of the crafting system in the game. I cannot stress enough how great this game is, and I am so happy I bought it. Now, it came out November 10th, which is two days ago at the time of this recording, and honestly, I, I, I couldn't get enough of it. I just want to play more and more and more. This is going to be one of my guilty pleasure games so I'm going to spend a lot of time doing, and I hope you guys do too. Ship Graveyard Simulator is a really, really amazing game. I don't know if it's fully released or still in early access right now, but I can tell you it is well worth the investment. Right now, the game is actually on sale. I don't know if it's going to be on sale anymore after this weekend, but I know that they had a release sale for, I think, the first week. Anyways, it's well worth the price of the money, and honestly, I'm going to play for hours. If you guys like this game and you guys like this review, drop a sub. Hit the like button, it really helps the channel grow, and it's free for you guys to do. Anyways, listen, I'm Cyclopath, you guys have been amazing, I'll see you guys on Monday.